In this video, we'll show you how to install your Allied STO3 stem. You'll need a 4mm Allen key, a 3mm Allen key, a 5mm Allen key, a steering tube cutting guide, plus a hacksaw and a torque wrench. Before the hoses have been run through the frame, install the lower bearing race on your fork. Pick your angle shim and pop it into the stem. Install the fork and headset. Install the dust cap and add any spacers you want. Slide the stem body onto the steerer tube and push down firmly to compress the system together. Mark the steerer at the top of the stem. Then disassemble the system and cut the steerer tube two millimeters below the mark you made. Without the fork installed, run the rear brake hose from the back of the frame and out through the lower headset cup. Run the front brake line up from the fork leg and through the steerer tube. Add a piece of tape on the front brake line to identify it. We're not doing that here, but it shows up later. Install the lower bearing onto the fork. If you want to use a churro to reduce buzz from the rear brake hose, slide it on now. With the fork out of the frame, run the rear hydraulic hose into the port in the back of the fork. Slowly install the fork, continually feeding rear brake line as the steerer slides into the head tube. When the steerer is almost in place, there will be a short loop of brake cable hanging out of the bike. Hold the rear brake cable from above and pull with light pressure as you push the fork into place. Install the top bearing, the compression ring, and the dust cap. Add any spacers you want. Only allied interlocking spacers are compatible with the STO3 stem. There's that tape. Any guess what F stands for? Install the compression plug. Arrange hoses so the front brake line is on the drive side. The hoses go outside of the O-rings holding the compression plug together. With a 5mm Allen key, torque the compression plug to 8 Newton meters. If the lug twists, use an open-ended wrench to keep it in place while tightening. If you want any allied interlocking spacers, now is the time to install them. Then slide the stem with its angle shim onto the steerer and press together to remove some slack. Add light tension to the steerer tube bolts to keep everything together. Install the levers on the handlebar. Run the brake lines through the bar, but don't connect the brake lines to the levers yet. Put the bar into place on the stem and pull the brake lines to remove slack. Push the brake lines as flat as possible in the stem channel and wrap a piece of electrical tape around the stem to hold the hoses in place. Slot the computer mount into place. Note that it doesn't have its own bolts. It's secured by the system. Install the stem's top half, starting at the handlebar and pushing down toward the back of the stem. It should snap into place. Each angle shim has a corresponding pill that slots in like a top cap. To install the angle pill that corresponds to your shim, pop it in place and lightly set the bolt. Don't tighten it yet. Remove any torque from the stem steerer bolts. Now use a 4mm Allen key to tighten the pill's bolt, drawing the system together until slop is removed from the headset. Remove the tape you used to secure the hoses. Using a 3mm Allen key, install the screws towards the front of the stem's top half. Torque to 4 Newton meters. Align the stem on the steerer tube and torque the steerer bolts to 4.5 Newton meters. Install the faceplate bolts and tighten them just enough to keep the bar from slipping easily. Hook up the brake lines to the controls and rotate the bar to the correct position. Gradually bring faceplate bolts up to 4.5 Newton meters by alternating between each bolt, so torque is applied evenly. Finally, double check that all fasteners are tight and everything is straight.